Whoa! Just let it clap and I'm swerving, I'm off of the road. Poison inside of my body, I'm losing control. I say that I stop, but I know that I won't let it go. Just keep it coming, I know that I won't ever go broke. Boys. We're back. Alright guys, so I'm finally back. We're back again with another video, and I'm gonna be back with a two to three day schedule for now. So I should be uploading basically three days a week, every week for now on, and just come up with an idea on how I really wanna run this. But anyways, I've been getting a lot of really good feedback from the last video I just dropped. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I will leave a link to it right up here. But basically, I showed you guys how to make beats for Don Tolliver. We made like a guitar beat. Then I broke down basically how I made like a little Travis Scott inspired song behind it. And it seemed like a lot of you guys actually liked that song. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the preset I use, how I got that effect, and basically how you guys could recreate it yourself. So without any further ado, let's get into the video, how to sound like Travis Scott. And before we jump into the video, I want to show you guys what you will need if you really want to recreate this effect. So if you head over to Quintavava.com. There's a link in the description, of course, but you're gonna click vocal templates up here and scroll down until you find the default mixing vocal template. Basically what this is, is just a like stock feeling mixing template. It has like everything you need to create your own mix by yourself. So I would use this if you're uh, a bit more up to date with how to actually mix. But I've said this before and usually what I like to do is I mix this, the default template with a preset that you actually wanna sound like. If you haven't seen the video where I break down how this default mixing template works, Go ahead and click this link right up here and that goes way more in depth on how but if you want this travis scott preset i'll have the link in the description as well for that there's gonna be a waves version an fl studio stock version and as you can see right here i actually started mixing with the slate digital plugin bundle i'll actually include this as well and all you need for this is the virtual mixing rack which is i believe like 10 bucks a month or maybe 15 bucks a month or something like that so if you want to do that, this is the one I recommend. But anyways, let's actually get into the video and break down how this sounds. So before we do anything, I'll just play this so you guys can get an idea for what we're actually going for today. Whoa! Oh. Just let it clap and I'm swerving, I'm off of the road. Poison inside of my body, I'm losing control. I say that I stop, but I know that I won't let it go. Just keep it coming, I know that I won't ever go broke. Right off the bat, you might say that doesn't sound like Travis Scott or something, but basically what I'm going for here is how he mixes his vocals and what and the vocal effect that you usually hear in Travis Scott. Obviously, there's a different tone in my voice compared to what Travis Scott sounds like, but I'm going for those big drenched in reverb ad libs and just that big electronic sound. So let's break this down. So we have the main vocal layer right here, and that sounds like this with all the effects on it. Whoa! Whoa. And as you can see, it's going into insert 23. And basically this is my chain right here. As you can see, we're going directly into an auto tune and then into NS1, which is basically just a noise suppressor. It's my favorite one. I think it just works the best. And then we have the majority of our mixing right here, which is the slate digital. So basically all we're doing here is running it into this virtual channel. Basically, if you were in a real studio, you'd have like actual hardware channels, which is the initial like routing of a vocal. Honestly, I don't even know too much about how that works, but I basically set it to USA. That's basically the favorite, my favorite sound out of all of these options right here. Honestly, there's not that, there's not too much of a difference. It's just the channel. And then we go into an EQ. A majority of the shaping is done here. I really pull that high end up. Then I don't mess with the high mids or the low mids, and then we pull a lot of the low end out. Then we have this first compressor, which is actually a peak reduction. And in my opinion, it sounds really good for vocal compression. Like, honestly, I'm not too sure about Slate Digital Plugins. I'm really new to this, but I feel like I got a really good sound out of this. And then this is a very popular Slate Digital compressor, the FG1116. I'm pretty sure it's modeled after real hardware compressor. Then we have this plugin called Revival, which is basically adding just some high end and kind of beefing up the vocal a little bit. And then we have this trimmer, which you just use to either add a little bit of volume to your vocal if the compressor is taken away or subtract some if the compressors or harmonics are bringing too much into the vocal. And as you can see, if I solo this out with the VMR off, whoa, whoa. You let it clap and I'm swerving, I'm off of the road. Whoa! You let it clap and I'm swerving, I'm off of the road. There's obviously a lot more volume added into that, and it just sounds a lot more like a full round vocal. Next up, we have a fab filter, which I'm just pulling out a lot of that low end because we want literally none of that because this beat is a very like thin sounding beat. So if we have any of that low end in the vocal, you're going to notice it right away. So I had to pull that out. And then this plugin right here is just fantastic. Fresh Air. I recommend you guys go get this right now. It's a free plugin and it's just 
It's just a great all around like finish your vocal off type plug. And of course we have a reverb and a delay. And that's the main vocal right there. And then if we go over to the ad libs, we have these two tracks right here. And they just sound, and they basically sound like this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! And so you're basically hearing two different tracks right here. We have this one. Whoa! Whoa! And then kind of like this hum. Whoa! The only difference being is on the first ad lib track, we have the fruity delay set to a one eighth note, which is giving it that like huge echo effect. Whoa! Whoa! And then the humming vocal is sent to this track right here. And the only difference with this is it's basically the same as the main vocal, but I routed it to another track and we added a fruity stereo shaper, basically just widening that sound. And then another EQ to just pull out any of that low end that I'm missing. And yeah, basically this is the main track right here. This is like an extra ad lib track I did right here. And then this is all the ad libs that are going to that track with the echo. And if you do get this preset, it will include the main vocal, the ad lib track, and of course that echo ad lib track. So you can do the same effect that you want to do. And of course you're going to want to hear this live. So if you want to do that, we'll head over to this main vocal. And if you want to hear yourself, all you're going to do is open this menu and select whatever input your mic is. Mine is input one right here. And as soon as I click this, you're going to hear everything live. <laughs> And you might want to turn your gain down a little bit. I think I have my gain sitting around like minus six. But yeah, this is what it all sounds like live. Just let it clever and I'm swerving on my for the road. But yeah, guys, pretty short video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you guys want to see more in-depth mixing videos like this, because I'll I'm definitely down to do them if you guys want them. Shout out to everyone supporting the channel and copying the presets. I really hope you guys are enjoying that. Make sure you guys hit me with the DM on Instagram and send me some of the work you guys are making with these. But it really means a lot, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying everything. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next video, which should be coming in about two days. But as far as this video goes, that's all I got for now. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Whoa! Oh. Just let it clap and I'm swerving on my foot of road. Poison inside of my body, I'm losing control. Say that I stop, but I know that I won't let it go Just keep it coming, I know that I won't